Hello, this is a proof of concept of a Rube Goldberg adventure puzzle map. Uh, but like I said, it is a pr proof of concept, so it's just one puzzle and it's a very simple one. But I might make a proper one in the future, I, I'm not entirely sure. So here we have a belt and a stone, so, so and, and another belt and a hopper, so it doesn't look too complex and it, it actually isn't. But what we want to do is go into here. So in this room you actually test your puzzle, so if I hit the button there, we can see a piece of iron drop. It didn't do much, so we probably didn't solve it, because, well, obviously a puzzle shouldn't be solved when we arrive. But we can also see the green lamp, lamp is turned on. That means we started the puzzle and this door here closed. That means that we can't go back into the puzzle area to sort of uh, interact with the puzzle while it's running. So that's important there. But this didn't work, so we want to reset it like that. So now the uh, red lamp is turned on, which means that we can't actually start again. The reason why we can't start again is because the old items are still here in the puzzle. So what we need to do is put that into the end which uh, well turns the red lamp off so we can start again. So that is to prevent you from actually uh, starting the puzzle multiple times and then using what you find uh, in, the, in the puzzle like so. So what we want to do now is actually get the items that uh, we, we receive in this puzzle, which are three belts and one hammer, like so. So if I just add them like this, so it's not nothing, oops, okay. So so maybe I actually failed here. Uh, so there we go, and then we hammer those like so, and we get some rendering glitch with the colors, but apart from that it should be fine, so now when the iron drops here, it should go over here into the hopper, and that should solve the puzzle for us. So now, if I hit the button, it goes over like that, it goes like that into the hopper and the door is open and it's set to be reset but then we can just walk out like so so fairly simple fairly straightforward um, and obviously this puzzle part can be more uh, advanced and you can do so so you get more items than just a piece of iron and so on uh, so let's take a look at the uh, things down below how this thing works uh, it requires a few things but not an enormous amount. So what we can see now when we solve the puzzle, the, puzzle, the iron uh, ingot is in this chest. So I'm just going to remove that and put it in that chest instead. And now if we go up here we can see that everything is completely reset. That that door is, is closed and uh, well these lamps are both off. So in the beginning everything looks like, like this. And what's going to happen when you press the uh, start button is that we get this yellow si signal up here. What I'm going to do is simply check uh, if the red lamp is uh, lit, then we can't do this. It's a n uh, not a gate there, and an AND gate. But uh, uh, as far as that's not the case, that we're not disabled, then it's going to just flip this latch, which is going to give a green output. The green output is hooked up to the, uh, you can't see it that well here, it's very dark, uh, the, the lamp up there but uh, also give a signal to this machine inventory management uh, manager from Steve's factory manager. Uh, what I've done here is basically uh, set up a uh, thing for just listening to the north side, which is, uh, well, the green part here, so we can listen to signals from there, and just on a high pulse, so when the green turns on, what we want to do is move from the chest to the uh, uh, belt. You can't see that. I'll, I'll need to modify that because the belt is taking up the full thing so you can't see the selection. So that will be fixed, but it is selected. So we just move the iron from this chest here to the belt. So that starts the whole thing. But then what we want to do is, uh, well, if everything succeeds, then, well, th there's a hopper up here. We can't see it, but it's put there. And what we want to do is move the items here because that's going to give us a redstone signal that opens the door. The door is just on top here like that. Um, oh crap, oh, I can't get out of here. Like so. Um, so that is done over over in this direction here. So it checks if the uh, signal on the other side, uh, the uh, east side, which is this red signal, if that's on or not. Uh, this is the if it's disabled or not. So remember if it's disabled to enable it again we need to finish the puzzle, but manually. So if the red s signal is on, that means that we're just resetting. So if it's on, then what we're going to do is check, do we have in the hopper uh, one piece of iron? If that's true, 
then we will move all those our items to this chest, which is the closest one here. So we will basically move the iron back, which will reset the whole lot using this brown cable here. But if that's not the case, so if the signal is low and we and we can find uh, one iron ingot in the hopper, then we want to move it to the other chest, the one that is five blocks away, which is this one. So basically what's going on is when you activate the whole thing, we get a signal here, it drops the iron, and then it, uh, when it detects the items in the hopper, depending on if the red signal is on or not, that if, if you finished it uh, normally or just to reset it, uh, then it's going to move the iron ingot either back here, which is going to give us a signal that everything should reset, or back here, which gives us a signal that we can open the door, and that's pretty much it. So. Uh, fairly simple to use. Uh, I'm using the Steve's Factory Manager together with some Project Red, and that's pretty much it. I'm using belts here to just move them up, and then hoppers to move it back down again. But that's pretty much it. And like I said, this is just a proof of concept. I might use it for something. We'll see about that in the future. But that's pretty much it. Goodbye.